Besties, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, it's general, it's timeless. Just take what resonates with you. If it doesn't, it's for the other person. If you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session with me, which is 30 minutes to an hour of intuitive channeling, a personal reading and spiritual coaching or an Akashic record session, check out the box below. It does have everything it is that you will need. Thank you for all of your love. Thank you for all of your support. If my energy or my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out. Just as a quick update too, um, I got new technology. And so if you're waiting on a response back or a personal reading, I'm just updating and transferring everything. Uh, it's been quite the change for me. And so as we're all aware, I'm in like in a new home, but in less than three weeks, uh, it's been a whole rebirth basically of just my entire life. And, and I mean all areas of my life, everything I own, everything. And on Sunday, I did a shamanic sacred medicine ceremony with the toad, which the toad, I'm talking about the toad, like T-H-E, the toad, um, which is one of the strongest sac sacred medicines in the entire world. And it was my third time doing it in the past few years. And, um, and so I've been going through a Kundalini awakening as well on top of all of that, which Kundalini awakenings, like that will clear out what needs to clear out. And let me tell you, it's been a clearing within and without of me. And I'm very thankful. Um, however, that does mean if you have been waiting or I have not responded to your email or to your reading, it's very important to me that I do. Um, and my WhatsApp number for my soul clients has also changed. So uh, my number has changed, okay? It's like like a, it's a whole rebirth. And I've been saying this about eclipse season in general. And when I say this, it's not only to say it, it's for me as well in my own life that eclipse brings fast change. And let me tell you, when you surrender to the eclipse, you truly allow yourself to paradigm shift. And I had, I, I went through a forceful surrender when I did that shamanic ceremony. And then came the Kundalini, Kundalini awakening. And not only was it within me, my whole life without me, and then it's to like, okay, this is a whole new world and a whole new life. Um, but not that it's easy or comfortable. It is a lot of surrender though. Um, and I've seen this happen in my own life, this eclipse season. So if you're going through a lot of change, be compassionate with yourself, be compassionate with others. There's a lot going on in this world. There's a lot going on in this world. And so at least for me, particularly, the only thing that I'm focused on, the only thing that I see is unity consciousness within myself and without of myself. If there's any ever any separation, I will bridge that, you know? Um, and we are bridges of the new earth. We are bridges of love in the midst of separation. All right, let's get to your reading, Pisces. I just wanted to update you on that and be open about that um, because don't even work at my job anymore because um, I do this full-time. Like this is way more than full-time. You know, when you are a light worker you dedicate your life to this so it's not like okay nine five you're like you're living the rest of your life you shift the way that you you operate your habits you're you're just everything but i was also working two days a week at a restaurant and even that job went too and i'm telling you this is all one week i went to that kundalini awakening and it my whole life and it's not easy. But when you do surrender to these kundalini awakenings, to the eclipse, sacred medicine, no matter what sacred medicine you take, it's going to give you a unique surrender every time. And so as we continue to surrender, it becomes easier and easier. And you do get through to the other side. And at the other side, there's usually a surprise, a gift, a blessing, and there's new life on that other side. Okay, let's get to your reading, Pisces. There's been a lot of things going on. Divine mother and father, what do we have for Pisces today? For their highest good and for the highest good of all. What do we have for Pisces today? For their high Ooh, you got love right away, okay? I'm not trying to make it a love reading, I promise. It says love. Okay, hold on one moment. Love. Why do we have love for Pisces? Why do we have love in the four of cups? Okay, this, your love life is going through a transformation over here, Pisces, okay? I do see for some of you, you waiting and expect to see some sort of transformation. Why love? Ace of Swords, okay, so there's truth coming in about your love life. Why the Four of Cups? 
Page of Pentacles. Why the transformation card? All right, you are actually receiving a new beginning over here, okay? You have the Page of Pentacles over here. So I see an offer coming in. This is either through some form of communication of like something that someone wants to offer, like here, I want a new beginning. You do have the World card on the bottom of the deck, okay? So in your love life, you're actually going through a big transformation and a new beginning, either in your relationship that you're already in or because um, there's some sort of new beginning that's coming in for you. Let's see what the truth is. Let's see what's being offered and let's see what this new beginning is. Why love with Ace of Swords? Nine of Cups. Why love with the Ace of Swords? Okay, someone does want to bring in an, uh, something over here, okay? Just some sort of offer. This could be a conversation. This could be a shift in how, a shift like in the relationship, in your life, okay? But there's some sort of communication um, that offers something here. And it has to do with your love life. Why the Page of Pentacles with the Four of Cups? King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Empress card over here. So I do feel like someone wants to offer something over here. You have Ace of Pentacles, ooh. Um, it may appear small at first is what's coming through too, okay? Uh, those scales are tipping in your favor, okay? For some of you, you just know that the scales are tipping in your favor. You have the two of sword, two of um, coins, and then you have the fortune card, okay? So even when it comes to money, things are really balancing out for you over here, Pisces. Okay, my question that I was going to say was... Who's this King of Swords energy? Who's the King of Swords energy? Uh, someone was watching you. I do see someone. You have Knight of Swords, okay? Someone might even be blocked. They may feel blocked off, or they may feel like you're like they're watching you through like a glass. Like I, you know, the two-way mirror. That's kind of what I'm seeing is like a two-way mirror, and someone kind of looking at you, you know. Uh, and so this person is watching you. They want to move forward somehow. Why the beginnings with transformation? Why beginnings with transformation? Why beginnings with transformation? Seven, seven. Um, there's something protected over here. Why seven of wands, six of pentacles, and seven of swords, nine of wands? What's the six of pentacles here? Why the seven of swords, six of swords? There's something trying to stop this new beginning. Oh, there was something trying to stop this new beginning. You could tell that I just got a channel. Whoa. And what I just saw, seven of wands. Okay, this new beginning is supposed to come in for you. There was some sort of interference over here. You have the six of, uh, six of coins. And so as something was supposed to come in for you, there was interference. Okay, this is very protected. There was some sort of... Um, attack on this connection actually this connection um whatever way shape or form we're gonna see what that is nine of wands uh seven of swords there was something sneaky okay you have the six of swords for the seven of swords there was something that was trying to sneak its way in in the midst of this why six of swords with seven of swords? The world card. Too bad because there is some sort of um, new cycle. Why six of swords with seven of swords? Why the six of swords with the seven of swords? What is this page of cups with the three of cups? Queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's so sneaky here? justice okay what was done in the dark is not going to prosper you have justice when it comes to whatever was sneaky over here there was sneakiness i see multiple people involved actually i see a group of people involved a group of people involved to separate or try to impact this connection it's very protected though why the seven of wands the People and the person who came in the way of this connection, it's coming out in reverse. Why the page of wands in reverse? 
Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why the Queen of Pentacles? Two of Cups. Why the Two of Cups? Judgment. Why judgment? Why judgment? And why judgment? Knight of Cups. All right, this is not going to work out over here. Page of Wands energy in reverse. I usually see that as a karmic energy. Like someone trying to come from a place of immaturity when it comes to conflict. There's judgment on this connection, okay? If anything, what this person's intention was for this person, like your life, Pisces, Six of Wands, what your this person's intention for your life was to like either separate this union or impact your life in a way that like your union was separated or this or that okay your love life was impacted by an outward influence period three of cups page of wands in reverse it was a um outside influence that wanted to impact the connection or manipulate it in some way shape or form you have the seven of swords you have the justice card okay what was done in the dark what was done in sneakiness there's it's coming to a balance and so that's what this is pisces is in your life your love life your all other areas it's coming to a balance over here okay you could be dealing with some sort of energy, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I want to see this person, like why they are doing this. What is this? How does this other person view Pisces? How does this other person? It's interesting. They view you as karmic. They view you that way. And that's why they're doing what they're doing. Why temptation for how this person views Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Why temptation? This person sees you as a karmic energy. And they want to completely stop you. Eight of Swords. They want to block you. Like block you, bind you type of thing. And it's actually not going to work though. I do see multiple people involved. Okay. This is coming to a balance over here. What's the justice for this situation? What is the justice? You're going to be celebrating over here. Okay, in any way that things were attempted to be sabotaged in your life, I feel like you're going to get upgrades in those areas of your life. So whatever area they would try to sabotage you, you get an upgrade here, upgrade there. And I see that happening for you, actually. Okay, what's the final advice for Pisces? What is the final advice for Pisces? What is the final advice for Pisces? The final advice is to take back your power. You have the Knight of Wands. Five of Wands did fall out, okay, which is an energy of conflict and multiple people involved. You have Knight of Wands. You have the Five of Swords. You also have Fertility, which is the Empress card, okay? Taking control only of what you can take control of. Because let me tell you, it is only the karmic energy that wants to control other people. Because control is karmic. Control is karmic. When we talk about distorted or toxic feminine or masculine, it's probably one that is like a lot of control, a lot of this, a lot of that. And so Knight of Wands with the Five of Swords, I really feel like you're taking control of what you can control and releasing that of which you cannot control with the Empress card over here. Okay, I'm going to grab one more card. I feel like one more card wants to come out. Why the Knight of Wands with the Five of Swords and the Empress? Yeah, Pisces, this is you, okay? Because you have the Queen of Cups that came out with the Ten of Pentacles. You motherfuckers. Okay, Pisces, this is you. You are the Empress. 
You are the emperor. You are the ten of pentacles. Okay, control what you can control. You release what you can't control. This too shall pass. You can't control how other people think or view you and their reality and how they like live it. Is That's okay. That's okay. What they're doing to you, not okay. However, what I do want you to know is in any way, shape, or form, whatever that they try to sabotage, you're going to get an upgrade in that area of your life. Any area that they try to sabotage of your life, God is going to give you actually an upgrade in that area of your life. And this is going to come to a balance. What I see is someone who wanted to control someone. Okay, so it's like this person saw you in a particular way and they're like, no, stop that. But the lesson is that you cannot, you can't control other people. You cannot, you can't. And I do believe that what, whether it was the intention or not, this person trying to take control of your life and impact your life in that way, they actually got in the way of a divine union over here, which that's what like the ancestors actually don't like. You know, so this person either tried to intentionally sabotage your union or whatever that they were doing because of what they were doing, it sabotaged a union here and the ancestors are not happy. And you're being very protected from that energy um, because they're watching this and it's like you're just, you're living your life or doing what you have to do, receiving whatever the blessings and the teachings and the learnings and all of that. If this person is just doing too much and they're just like, okay, you need to, you actually need to kind of like, back off now you know um yeah and so and it's actually a pisces little sister over here that said hi um all right that's what we have pisces this too shall pass keep on going protect yourself okay you you can't control what other people think you can't and that's the thing like in life um there's going to be people who like if we're okay with being the bad guy it's understanding that People will only see you how they see you. Whether it's their reality or not, you know, um, and that's what this is here, Pisces, is that you are the empress. You are the emperor. You are him. You are her, okay? Um, but in that knowing, just take control of what you can, and there's certain things you can't control. Because especially as a Pisces, we would love, like, you know, we're lovers. It's just like, well, if you think that way, like, well, what can I do? Or how can how can we talk about this? How can we shift things? How can I come to an enlightenment? You know, like, I'm that type of person. Um, however, not every situation calls for that. Like, you need to let people think what they think and do what they do with the trust and the knowing that you are who you are. Because at the end of the day, just you and standing in your authentic truth, that truth is what is true okay that's what i have for you pisces i hope that this resonates again if you would like a personal reading a one-on-one -on -one session or anything else check out the box below what do we have for pisces for advice the gathering community kinship and companionship on the bottom of the deck is oracle okay sacred living spirit speaking and intervention okay um for some of you, I see you gathering with multiple people, okay? Uh, I see you even doing ritual with multiple people, okay? But this is ultimately, I really think, like, leading you where it is that you need to go and with your soul, tribe, and family, okay? But this card in particular really stands out to me, the Oracle card. And there's also, with that card, there is a reminder that there is going to be intervention when it comes to the situation, okay? It's safe, you're fine, there's going to be intervention. Why the gathering and the oracle? Why the gathering and the oracle for Pisces? Heart healing, emotions, connection, and time eases, okay? You are healing over here from... I do feel like things have happened. I feel like things have happened in a connection. I feel like a lot has changed. There's multiple things going on here, Pisces. You do have the child within, okay? But all is well. Heart healing, emotion, connection, time eases. Okay, and this too shall truly pass. Let's see what we have for... And I'm getting this two more messages. Let's see what we have for one more message. Visionary and eternal love. 
and Kadesh sexual wisdom, okay? I do feel like for some of you that there was manipulation or some sort of interference on a divine connection that was divine, okay? And, um, and if so, if so, then I have my phone was going off. If so, this too shall balance out, okay? Like truly, in this type of situation, Pisces, control only what you can control, release what you can't control, okay? And we're gonna grab one more message. Someone has an eye on you, telepathy. I always feel like somebody watching me. Okay, someone though is truly watching you. I actually feel like it's that love interest here. What else do we have on telepathy and visionary? What else do we have on telepathy and visionary? Someone's watching you, okay? They're watching you shine. I do believe it's like the love interest, okay? We have eternal love Aphrodite. We also have Imhotep, visionary. For some of you, you have a telepathic connection with someone. They're watching you gather blessings. And I don't know why I feel the need to say that they feel like you're like a blessing, okay? You have looking back, moving forward, okay? Well, you have a telepathic bond with this person. Um, for some reason, I feel like their astral presence so strongly where it's like you both are really actually really connected in the astral realms. You have clairvoyance as well, okay? You also both might be very gifted. Um, so this person may have gifts as well too. All right, that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that it resonates. I love you. Thank you for all of your support and have a beautiful day.